Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know what is the best format to gather the requirement from the customer by a business analyst using an Excel sheet with example, then you are watching the right video. Let's get started. The sole purpose of the requirement gathering session by a business analyst is to understand what the customer needs and communicate the need with the development team so that the development team can fulfill the customer need. So any questions which comes up in the requirement gathering sessions should fulfill the above purpose. Now let us consider an example where a ABC school wants to implement a software product to manage all the activities of the school. So the school will contact a software development company to develop this software. One of the sales formalities is done between the school and the company. The business analyst from the company will start gathering the requirement from the customer. Now, first, let us understand what are the important information a business analyst should gather from the customer. Those information are what kind of product a customer needs, who are the potential users of the product, capability of each users in the product, number of users of the product, preferred coding language to build the product, delivery type. Now, to get all this information, a business analyst should ask a set of questions to the customer. So, let us see what are those questions and also the order of the questions. As you can see on the screen, the first best question a business analyst should ask to the customer is, what kind of product you are looking for? The next question is, who are the potential users of this product? Once you get the list of the users, then you pick up each user and try to get the information about the functionalities or the capabilities of that user. As you can see in our example, there are four users that is student, teacher, parent and admin. So start with student and ask the customer what are the capabilities of a student in this product. Once you get the list of the capabilities of student, you can ask additional questions related to any of the capability of the student. And you can also give suggestions to add or remove any capabilities from the list. In the similar way, you can pick up other user types and ask the questions. If you see, the first question will answer what exactly a customer is looking for. In the second question, we will know the list of the potential users of the product. In the next question, you will know the capabilities of each user type so that you will know what all functionalities the product should have. In the next question, you can get some additional information related to any of the capability. Later, there are some general questions which you should ask that is number of users of this product, preferred coding language to build the product, Delivery type, either it is one time delivery or in iteration. Now, let us see how to capture all these questions and answers using an Excel sheet. Friends, there are many requirement gathering templates used in the market. But I would suggest you to use the simplest template which I am going to show in this video because in Agile, Anyway, we will be converting these requirements into epics and user stories in the later stage. As you can see, this is the Excel sheet. In our example, the project name is School Management Software. The customer name is ABC School. And the location of the requirement gathering session is London. If the requirement gathering session is happening through a Zoom call, please mention here as Zoom call. And the first column is date. The second column is the question from the business analyst. The third column is the customer response for the question. And the fourth column is status where you will be having three options to select answered, not answered and prefer to answer later. And the next column is comment and the last column is comment date. Since in our example, we are capturing requirement based on user type, I have created different pages for different user types in the excel sheet like student module, t 
teachers module parents module and admin module now let us go through the questions and answers of the student module as you can see the first question from a business analyst to the customer is what kind of solution you are looking for the customer response here is i am looking for a software through which i can manage all the activities of the school in the next column that is status column you can select answer from the drop down the next question is who are the potential users for this product the customer response for this question is students teachers parents admin and management again in the status column you can select as answer the next question is what capabilities will each of this users will have in the product can we start with students so the customer response for this question is students should have capabilities like students should be able to log in and reset their password they should be able to view class and exam time table they should be able to communicate with teachers or management through chat feature they should be able to view and submit their homework or projects they should be able to view their attendance they should be able to view their exam results again in the status column you can select as answer now all the other questions in the green cells are the questions seeking additional information or giving suggestions regarding the capability of the students like what is the preferred type of username a student should have the customer response will be i would prefer student email id as a preferred username to login next do you have any preferred steps which students has to go through to reset their password the customer response will be he should receive a password reset link to the email id next do you need to have a capability for students to download timetable attendance and results yes i need download capability do we need to have a capability where students can request for leave from the student model the customer response is no i don't want student to request for leave from student model next do we need to send a notification to student email id when homework and results is uploaded by a teacher yes i need that is the customer response next do we want to have a capability where students can pay school fees from student model the customer response is no i don't want to have the payment capability in student model next can i know how many students will use the software approximately 1000 students what is the age limit of the student to use the software the customer response is 14 years now you need to ask some general questions like do we need a mobile app for this product do we have any preferred coding language to build this software do you want the entire product to be delivered at one time what is the priority of the delivery please capture the customer response for this general questions now there could be some circumstances where the customer wants to add something to the product for example in the initial stage the customer had told that there are five user types that is students teachers parents admin and management but after few days he felt that there should be another user type called alumni that is you would like to add alumni user to the product so that can be captured in comment section or comment column and also the date of that comment can be captured in similar way please capture the requirement for other users in different pages of the excel sheet like teachers module parents module and admin module now to understand how to convert the requirement into epics and user stories please watch the related videos in my channel thank you friends please like share and subscribe to the channel